Lacasse Custom presents the 2019 Derby City Classic Nine Ball Championships. Hi, everybody. Welcome again back here to the Horseshoe Southern Indiana and the Accustats Arena for continuing action in the Derby City Nine Ball Division. This is the 21st edition of the Pocket Billiards All-Around World Championships. It's our 11th year here at the Horseshoe Southern Indiana, and we want to express our gratitude to them for being such terrific hosts for all these years. We'd also like to thank our three signature sponsors, Diamond Billiard Products, Simona's Cloth, and Cyclop Pool Balls, along with Master Chalk, for their continuing support of this event. And we also want to thank all of you. We can't do this without your loyalty and devotion to our game. Thank you all for being with us all week, and we hope to see you again many, many times in the future. All right, we're in the nine ball division, round number nine, 407 players began. There's roughly 20 players, give or take a few left. Let's get right away with player introductions. From The Hague in the Netherlands, this gentleman's a former Derby City nine ball champion. He's a former world nine ball champion, and he's a two-time world pool masters champion among his long list of accomplishments. He's sponsored by Hague Five, Pro Star by Leo, Kamui, and Longoni Qs, known as the Terminator. Please welcome Niels Fyan. Thank you so much. His opponent, originally from Fulda, Germany, resides in Jacksonville, Florida. Former world straight pool champion. He's former BCA Open nine ball champion, and he holds two world nine ball championships to his credit. Sponsored by Cyclop Pool Balls, Kamui, GD Cases, and Volmer Qs. It's the hitman, Torsten Homan. Good luck, gentlemen. Thank you very much. Go ahead and lag for the break, if you would. We're going to send it upstairs now to the commentary booth to Mark Wilson and Danny DiLiberto. Take it away, gentlemen. If you have ever wondered what world-class nine ball looks like, you've come to the right place. Hello and welcome back, pool fans. Mark Wilson giving us his perspective here is none other than Danny DiLiberto. Welcome aboard, Danny. Yeah, it's nice to be here, pal. Last day, I'm getting sad. Well, we've got a lot to be happy about. There's going to be tons more pool action taking place here today. There's 20 players left, and it's nothing but the cream of the crop. Nine ball action all day. We've completed the one pocket and banks events. They were won by Bustamante and Billy Thorpe. We have the all-around prize at stake. Neil's fine. Torsten Homan. Homan's won the leg. We'll be breaking. Race to nine. Nine ball racked on the spot. Back up just a little. It's got to be all the way back. Good. Yeah, best known as a straight pool player. Well, everybody learned how to make that ball on the side now, but that's what you're supposed to do. Watch this table, and whatever is becoming successful, duplicate it and that ball on the side seems to go every time two ball hung up three ball pretty open layout stages of this match. Homan's in total control of the opening rack. Pervy angle to pull on the uh, six, which he did. I think he'll draw back now, shoot the seven in the side. He's looking at the corner also. Maybe he doesn't quite have the right angle. Yeah, he definitely got a little angle. Shoot it in the corner. Mm -hmm. 
Good shot there. Nice two cushion approach as he comes in towards the nine ball all the way. This would be to open the uh, match with a break and run out after winning the leg. Only hits the heart of the pocket, 1-0. Well, both the last two matches opened up the same way. Van Boning broke and ran his first three racks after winning the leg, and now Homan's off and running, 1-0. Holman's nickname is Toasty. Or the Hitman. Well, that was Thomas Hearn's name, the fighter. Yeah. The Hitman. So I like Toasty better because I don't know any fighters named Toasty. <laughs> Cream Puff. <laughs> Okay, let's see what he can do with the break here. Break it from the right side. Two balls, the wing ball. Yeah, let's see if he can make the one again, and he did. Well, he's got a good powerful two break. Two two. Gonna have a shot at the two ball, but nowhere near the type of layout he had in the previous rack. And he's gonna have to do some work to get on this three. Yeah, he might have to play for the bank if he's gonna continue to play. Yeah, he can come back and shoot the bank, but how you get to the four then? Yeah, tough layout. This would be a pretty shot, though. You'd have to introduce side spin and uh, power. Toasty's analyzing that, recognizes it's going to be a very risky proposition to get close to the three. I will not blame him if he chooses a different shot than trying to run out. Right. I like, I like that thinking. Get to where you could play safe off the three because it, three to the four is too difficult. Play safe off the three. Elevating with power, butchered the shot, and that suggests why. <laughs> he butchered. Well, no. he was trying to get to the three, which was, in my opinion, senseless. The backswing got quick and jerky. He missed the ball by a significant portion, which suggests that that was clearly way too difficult for someone of his expertise to take on. That was almost, that smacked a, a little bit of desperation. He could have cut across the two ball and put it over by the four and tried to get the cue ball past the six down table, or, but just not leave a wide open layout. It didn't turn out so bad because Niels had to play safe. And he played a good one. But Niels could have been presented with an absolute uh, ideal start there because it was so random. After Toasty missed. Uber aggressive. Well, now he's going to be kicking. He kicked two rails. He can get some separation. There it is. Yeah, oh. he separated his wallet. I did not think it would go past the four without hitting it. I, th I thought he, oh, that was completely safe, and I'm sure that he felt the same way. Now look where the three and the five are. That's a problem there for Niels. He can't really billiard it in. He's trying to see if he can play it cleanly. 
And he recognizes that's going to be a, a very dicey circumstance. And estimate where he needs to get to. Is he forgetting the two? <laughs> no. This is such a thin narrow. He's really got to gauge this. Yeah, if he he's... bluffed me. <laughs> yeah, he's not forgetting. I think he's going to go into the five here. I don't think he's going to. He's got the right angle to do it. At least go in between them. Not likely to hook himself. And, and the, the other thing is just so tough. So he's going to go forward. Oh, my goodness. No, I don't even... think he can make it. Well, I know he can't make it. Play safe. No, I'm saying that was odd. That, that he had ball in hand. He didn't even come close to hitting the five. Now you shoot the three. Stick. Knock the three far down. Good shot. Well, he could hit the three, but I don't see how, you know, he can't even hold the cue ball and bank it to the four. I don't know. What do you do here, Mark? You got to play safe, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I would try a kick towards the side pocket and just try to introduce left spin coming off that back rail. And it's, well, maybe, I don't even know. Yeah, he can't see it, so he has to kick. Try to use the blockers, kick it in the side or the corner. It's so far from the rail, you can't play it with tremendous accuracy. Well, he's, oh, he was able to hit it. Okay. Well, then I, I like this. You're not blocking him, or, but you're going to make him play a tough, <laughs> tough bank, tough safe. Yeah, I don't know if it banks. Well, one rail. The yeah. seven might be not in the way. Not cross side. No, not cross side. I don't mean it like that. I'm, what I'm saying, one rail cross corner, you know, it's that tough of a circumstance. He just opted for straightaway safety. He's going to scratch. Out. There he goes. All right, now, this isn't starting off the way that we've been used to watching this center table action. It's been a, uh, quite a bit more crisp early on. Holman's going to go ahead and play the five ball now. That will... Good idea. Alleviate him having to travel up and down the table multiple times. Well, he's going to have to stroke this, but he has a two rail angle to go forward. Watch outside. Good shot. Another good shot. <laughs> Cruising along here. Good angle, perfect. Oh, 50 yard line. Missable. Well, I'll say. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, you have to hit the thickness of this a hair to cut it in. I think he's going to play bank shot here. Or play safe. Well, I think with the bank shot. Well, nope, straight That's away what safe. He did. Perfect. Yeah. Pretty good. I don't like a safe here. I think you got to shoot here. Straight on bank, shoot it. Hit 
hit it pretty good, but that's mm -hmm. when you sleep in the street hitting it pretty good. Okay, toasty. 2 0. This match has probably been played against each other many, many times in Europe. Yeah, Holman's from Germany, right? Mm hmm. He owns over a 400 ball high run. One of the very few people that I know that have in excess of 400 balls. Dallas West has two. John Schmidt, four. Thomas Engert, I know, ran like a 490 one time. Well, he missed the side pocket with the one. And something dropped. Oh, right? he made one, yeah. So now he's got to figure out how to get on the two. He's got a little angle, but it's the wrong angle to get to the two. Yeah, it looks like he can draw back and play the two in the far corner pocket rather than the near corner That's pocket. It. That's all he's got. Good call, but he overdrew it a little bit. He goes down and looks at like he's gonna force himself to play the cut shot anyway. Oh, what a good hit. Oh, boy. And now, he's got position. Holman did the same thing that I do to myself. Sometimes when I play an errant position, I punish myself by making myself play the same shot. But I don't have any success making it. I just shoot it. You're being modest. Huh. <laughs> that too. Well, he doesn't want to make both of them, even though he'll still have a shot, but it'll be far away for position. Got to leave that ball where you can get closer to the six. Good shot. Mm -hmm. It's really good because he left the little angle you needed to get to the nine now. That's automatic. Just right. make the ball. Right. Straight down the table. Perfect. The nine ball is all that's left to keep Omen at a three game lead now. Three zero. Well, you can definitely see the crowd is down a little bit today. It is still early in our day, but a lot of people have left after eight days of activity here, heavy yeah. activity. This is day nine. But I think it'll pick up for later on for the finals. Yeah, but, but you're right, a lot of people left. record attendance in the tournaments in these events. We had 510 bankers. No, 503 bankers. Right. 410. One pocket. Right. 406 nine ball.
Homan, a good break. I don't know if he's going to make anything, though. No. Looks like a dry break. Nine ball came out hot. Well, he can hit the one, but it's a pin hit. Got to play safe here. Maybe go behind the five and seven. Not quite. It was too thin to, mm -hmm. to go that far. I think he can hit the one. I don't think he's going to be cutting at it. I think shoot it straight on and stop the cue ball. Looks like he has to kick at it. Good hit. He left the shot. Position is right there if he makes the ball. And he'll have the angle to go one rail to the three. Trickled it in. Yeah, his cueing action is a little bit jerky, and he even kind of moved. He, he's not feeling confident at all in this match, I can tell. He's getting the balls, and the balls are cooperating, and he is a great, great player. But his cueing action, nowhere near as smooth as what we've seen. Well, this is a little tricky. He's got an angle. Go one rail. Don't go behind any balls. Good shot. Holman's also one of the old school type players. One of the few that we've seen on center table with a stainless steel joint. You're right. That makes a little stiffer hit. Position on the seven. That was as close as he could reasonably get. Yeah, we're going to see a little draw stroke, or he can bounce it off the rail and shoot the eight in the corner. The yard line coming up. Good enough. I see my friend Matthew in the red shirt there in his front row eating. I think he got used to eating every day. I don't even see him, but he is a nice fella. 
Omen going for the corner. Good oh, shot. Nice shot, yeah. Good shot. Good run. Nope, four zeros our score, early stages. Brian hasn't had a real good opportunity yet. Yeah, that's how these matches go. They're kind of um, both players are very equal on paper, but usually somebody gets off to a good start, and it's maybe oftentimes a one-sided match as opposed to as hotly contested as you might think if you just looked at it on paper. Then they play another set, and the other guy would win easily. A race to nine is not indicative of a skill differential at this level. It's only a couple innings. Is cue ball going to scratch? No. No. No, but he's not going to make anything either. Safety circumstance here. Yeah. Cut it thin and go long. You might get him behind the nine. Well, good speed, but he didn't snooker him. Yeah, pool could be fickle, Mark. Oh, yeah. Don't Losing I know it. four nothing, and this is what you got? Might go behind the three. Well, at the pro level, this is not a bad deal here. You, a lot of times, are kicking for your life. Here, he has a chance to make a shot to influence the outcome of this rack. He's not just relegated to kicking. Yeah, he got him behind the balls. There, that's what we're used to seeing. Very nice. Tough hit here. <clears throat> oh, it's elevated. He has to be careful not to bounce. He didn't. He hit it. Very nice shot. That is a nice shot. Yep. Good return. Holman's delighted. I guess both players don't have a buyback, right? I don't remember Ken, what Ken said. I, I know he said there's approximately 20 players left. Good shot. Yeah, good speed, good direction. Well played.
small target down here. Barely three balls of width. They tagged it. Look at that. Did not sell out. Yeah. That's the value of the soft kick is that uh, just because you once you hit it doesn't mean you always have to give up a shot. And these guys are starting to utilize speeds where uh, days gone by, we used to try to hit them and get separation with power. Well, I don't think he should shoot at this. I know he's losing 4 nothing. He wants to shoot. I got to put him behind a 4. Right, Mark? Well, th yeah. I mean, I'm not disputing that. It looks, looks like automatic. He's taking Danny's advice. You got him. So far, Holman's been getting kicking practice. And he's hitting everything. This one might be a little more difficult. He's going to have to kick and spin. A lot of right hand English. He hit that one too. Oh, Fine's not getting any kind of roll at all. He snookered him. He's laughing. He's saying, when am I going to get a shot here? I keep snookering the guy, and he keeps kicking, hitting it, and safing me. That's something to moan about. Look at him now. Super nice exchange going on here. Well, now it's going to be super difficult to hit this shot. Very difficult. I'll tell you the shot I like is the uh, three cushion approach as opposed to this shot. You're right. And the three cushion approach is underneath the five. if we got a chance to get the overhead here. I think you yeah, do. Yeah, we do. I think he can go here, 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 and drop onto it this way. The other choice is here that he's trying to do and here, but you can't have quite the same momentum on the cue ball, so it's harder to get separation if you go that route. So my preferred route is this way. And you'd like to have enough power that if you come in behind it, you can get the one to the rail. He's going the two cushion route. Tough hit. Oh, one rail. Okay. Well, he finally didn't hit one. Well, fine. You got a chance to get on the board. Side rail, side rail, drop down for the five. Good speed. Got just the right angle to get on the six, or is that the seven? 
the seven, yeah, down the way. You just like to have a little angle there too, center table. He's got the angle to get to the eight. He's in danger of winning one. Overcut that a little bit, but he's okay. score. He was fine. He's just won his first game and will be breaking. Neils would love to generate some offense from the break here. Shut down Holman from getting to the table. That allows you to produce oh. multiple rack wins. Well, he was practicing the break. He made the one in the side like that. Made the two, the three. Yeah, he's got the yeah, three. Not an easy shot. That's no. Have to back Didn't cut it. it. Yeah, have to back cut it very thin. And now that if you want position. I shoot soft. I don't think you can shoot it soft enough, can you? Oh, I'd think so, yeah. I'd think so. I well, think that's so. what he's got to try to do if he's going to run out. I was thinking this is a four Let's cushion. See, it's thin. Oh, yeah, he did go thin. Safe. <coughs> Better idea. Oh, boy. A real good shot. Good shot. He's yeah. been playing good safes. Holman's been hitting everything. Uh, yeah. Here in the background, Skyler, Skyler Woodward and Rob Saez. Humphrey Gorst and Danny Olson. There's a lot of great players here. Oh, nice shot there. You had the mass A into that. You could really see it from our angle how much that curved. Well, he left the shot, but position is tough. Oh, well, I don't think you, you gamble on playing position. I think stick there and then play safe off the four. Looks like an easy safe. That's what he's doing. Yeah, good call. You got the three and the nine to get him with. I think he might bank the four down table and try to stick him underneath the six. You know, may, maybe move the four yeah. over past the eight. A little angle to do that. He did it. Oh, nice. He did it. Yeah, very nice. He's been playing good saves. Like I said, Holman's been kicking everything. Mm-hmm.
Well, he missed the kick. Well, I think well, the nine doesn't pass on the, on the combination, but he's sure going to get posi position, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with ball in hand, you hope so. Playing at this level. Good shot. Yeah, you got to go forward. Get the one rail angle. Just past the center of the table, I don't think he'll go two rails here. Well, the thing about it is, no matter where he gets, he can get position. Angle or straight, he'll be okay. He got straight, but you'll see a draw stroke now. Maybe he has an angle to go one rail. Little angle. No, he drew it. Neil's fine now, he's two, home and four. Yeah, with his break, he's not far out of it. And like I said, he was practicing early and making the head ball in the side. Got to keep doing that. to generate a, a break and run out here. Get back within one game. One, one on the side. side. Two's coming down by the corner. Yeah, he's going to have position, but position to the three is going to be difficult. He's got a wall of balls in the path. Tough position here, Mark. Maybe a strong draw shot. He can go one rail. Got to hit it hard. Now the eight was in the way. Well, at least he's not snookered. Oh, didn't quite get him. Doesn't have a gimme, but he, mm -hmm. he's not snookered either. He got used to kicking. Gonna cut it down the corner or try to. No, good idea. I think Niels could shoot at this bank. Yeah, he's got balls to get him with, shoot at it. You got position and safe. Of course, it's easy for me. Mm hmm See what Niels has in mind here. He is banking it. Went all out to and make missing it. Missing it. Left the cut on the three. Yeah, he's not happy about that.
No bargain here. Cutter didn't try to hit the nine, I believe. Oh, he hit the four, but I think he got it out. <laughs> Tied up the five. Definitely jumped up. Well, is the nine dead? He's looking at the nine. Might be. It'll at least come close to throwing it. Well, they're not frozen. They're about a well, they're close small, enough. Yeah. yeah, you might get a little bit of throw. Well, he looked at it. Yep. Yeah, it might be the, the easiest solution to possibly win in this game. And it could be free. Well, he hasn't decided to do that. I like it. Well, he missed and snookered nails. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't think he would miss that. I'm sure Niels is going to hit this. What happens after that? Two rail kick. No, he might be going one rail. No, he's, he's shooting two rails. Good shot. Look where he knocked the four. I think you got to kick this. He could cut the four, but I think the kick is the better shot. Don't you, Mark? Yes. Yeah, much greater chance to get something favorable to happen. If you thin it, there's no way to... Well, you'd have to hit it perfect to have any success. This at least has a fighting chance, and he's... Yeah, I think he got that pocket at least partially obstructed. I think he's got a full pocket mark, but it's not yeah. an easy shot. Okay. And how about getting to the five? Well, if he just follows ahead, he would have that combination if, in fact, it would go. He's got a combination, but it's not the nine. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, off angle combination. This is very easy to miss. Tough shot. Oh, that's a dirty shot. Uh, nice. A killer safety rather than a tough combination. That You're sounds right. like a good recipe for good victory. Good judgment. Holman will probably hit it. But what happens after that? Needs the bridge. That's a bad hit. Hmm. That was kind of a simple kick, but maybe not with the bridge. Yeah, but he didn't use much pace. He was he was playing to a particular side. I guess he wanted to get it off the back side of the five and try to lodge the cue ball one rail up behind the eight. That's what he was thinking. Pretty routine layout now.
good shot. Come back a little bit. Perfect. Four threes are a score. That changed the direction this match has been heading. Holman started off 4-0 in front. Niels Fine has now won three games in a row. Makes it simpler for the rack track to <laughs> keep them all in order. Out of table action, milling in front of Andreas Madsen, 6 3. And that's your guy, he's beating him, right? Yeah, Melanie's beating my guy, but I'm proud of him. He's deep in this event. That's he is, right. And he's certainly a threat. He's not out of this match. He does play well enough to still win. It's not like it's an aberration or anything. Melanie's the kind of guy that doesn't give you chances. <laughs> That's the problem. Nine ball in the break. We're tied. <laughs> yep. That's where the cue ball coming back through the clutter kissed the ball into the nine, I believe, and knocked the nine in the corner pocket. We're racking the nine on the spot. It does not go in very freely. First one we've seen. Two balls chipped up there. He's going to have a shot. Not quite as easy as, but, but certainly a makeable shot. And I In expect position, to get it. he'll have to go two rails, but he'll have a chance at it. Great shot. Great position. Yeah. Good job there, Niels. Niels Fine eliminated Chang Jun Lin last night. Big match to do that. Mm hmm. After hours action, Joshua Filler beat Chang Jun Lin. Race to 17. Filler is 21 years old, and the upside is just uh, unbelievable. Many of the German players think that he might be the, the best youthful German player that's ever been. Right. Uh-oh, let the cue ball filter onto the side cushion there. Now, position play for the sixes is going to be just a little bit more tenuous. Especially if he has no angle. Because if he has a little angle, he could at least roll into the nine. He must have the angle slightly the other way because he's pointed up top like he's got two cushions up. Or one cushion. No, he up. doesn't have much angle for sure. Don't snooker yourself, that's all. Oh, he did have that angle, and he did it very nicely. Tough to shoot off the rail and yeah. get any accuracy and speed. With power, yeah. Accuracy and power is mitigated by being on the rail. Good shot. He's got enough angle to go one rail. 
Yeah, he just needs to get to the center of the table here. Good speed. Good angle. First lead of the match for Niels Fine. Five, four. Niels has won five in a row now. That was his first break and run out. Well, he knows how to make the head ball on the side. Fine, 900. Woman 844. Three ball on the wing. The one ball is the one that's been falling the most often. There it goes again. Three in, the one, the nine was out hot, almost got double kissed into the side pocket. Looks like Niels has a thin cut on the two ball back into the corner pocket. Yeah, if he falls on the four, he's gonna wind up with another combination. Hmm. Yeah, that's gonna be awkward. Yeah, let's turn the hit. Yeah, this is... Yeah, he's looking at trying to thread around the eight ball down there. Or maybe go heavy into the six. What was he looking at there? Just don't miss. I'm not pulling for anybody. I like to see nobody play bad. Oh, he's going to be cutting at this. Good shot. He oh, went around the eight like wow. you called. Look at this. Wow. I didn't well, know that he could get past the six that well, but he smoothly did that. A great world, shot. World-class shot for sure. We're going to see the six, nine now after the five. It doesn't have to. He can run the balls also. This is one of those circumstances where what's he feeling is easiest here. Oh, he's going to put oh, his he combo. got on it. Kind of. <laughs> no, he's there. He's there. A little bigger, okay. And the second consecutive break and run out for Neil's fine. He now leads the match six games to four. That's the fickleness of this game. I don't even know if there is a word fickleness. <laughs> you know what it means, right? I, yeah, definitely. I, I think there is too. But uh, most interesting, Holman really hasn't did that much wrong. No. But that's what happens. These matches turn around so quick because these guys are so skilled. They can get two, three games at a time sometimes. Fickleness. Ralph Suquet oh, he finally stance. didn't make the ball on the side, but he didn't make anything. He did get and three. And he snookered him. And three crossed the head, head string. Yeah, you got to have three of them right.
Coleman pushing out. Yes, so. I think he can hit the paint. Well, he can definitely hit it. Almost looks like he can make it. I guess not. He wouldn't take so much time over it. No, I don't think he can make it, but he can hit it. I wouldn't give this back. Would you, Mark? No. No, definitely. You can thin set it, spin it, bring the cue ball around. Huh. Niels doesn't like it at all. He doesn't want to give it back because Holman, you know, gladly shoot from here. But Niels is not finding anything easy to play safe with that's going to really be devastating. I like your, well, he's kicking it. I don't think he got a kick at it. That's, that's going to be a mistake. Danny called it. Now, even you know, if he doesn't want to play offense, he's got free range, uh, range to hit either side of the ball, whatever he wants to do. He's got some clutter down there. And it would be unlikely that Niels does not get the worst of this. That's not going to work. Hmm. I no. think he can hit this. Yeah, we know he can hit it. Can he make it in the side or in the corner? Oh, the corner is the better shot. Extreme angle for the side. Well, maybe he could. Yeah, right, right. From our vantage point, it definitely looks ugly for the side, but maybe it looks better to him. We'll find out. It was better. <laughs> yeah, no, it was fairly effortless for him. But from our vantage point, that looked really narrow. Get it good. Neil's, you know, picking up right where he left off. He's got quite a bit of momentum going now. He's won six games in a row in the shooting. Good position here. Yeah. Had to pass by that six ball awfully closely, and had he bumped it lightly, he would have ruined his chances to get out. Steady's in a real good place. Good shot. And I think if you stop right there, you're going to have to go three rails. Yeah. No, he can go two. And the reason Danny mentions that, the the angle on the four, if he pockets the four in the corner, leads the cue ball towards the eight. So he won't easily get close to the five. I think he could almost stick it without going any angle. Yeah, good call. He did. He was able to make a stop shot. Now he can go two rails side side. Doesn't have to go three. No. This is far better. Way less risk, much more consistent. Would love to get the cue ball right at the center of the table here. Yep, that would be ideal. No, oh, he he was able to go deep and get even closer. Oh, he got to the center. Pretty <laughs> good. Look at this. No problem now. He could have used a little more speed. Three rails around. Like to bring the cue ball up by the side pocket where his bridge hand is located. 
good shot. Coming right into his line here. And the rack track will show seven consecutive victory, victories for Niels Fine. He's now put himself on the hill to get on the hill. In, Fran, in French, it's septancou. <laughs> Look at the rack track. Look at that. Four for Omen, seven. Yeah, we got it. We're on top of it. Rack tracking. Septancou. Are you proficient in French, Danny? I took a few years of it, and I went to France twice. Uh-huh. And the, the women know English better than the men. How did you determine that? <laughs> I wonder how he made the ball on the side. That was a pretty you good know, analysis. I gave lessons, and you got to yeah. know how to say gauche and droit. Left and right, uh -huh. Dushman is easy. <laughs> the sensuous pool player, Danny DiLiberto. He speaks foreign languages, uh, cooks Italian food, can punch a guy out in a fight, <laughs> win a pool game. <laughs> He's man for all jobs here. Gotta hit this, Neil. You're on a roll. Oh, oh he hit it all right. <laughs> High velocity. He make the treat, no. He left the combination. Two five. Well, this is the first chance he's had in a while. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's the way these matches go. Can't worry about the score now. What kind of stroke mechanics can you apply? What's your stroke performance going to look like here at the end? Oh, boy. He's glad that went in. Now he's going to go two rails, play to four in the same pocket. Might even play the six in the same pocket. Yeah, I think he'll have to draw back and play it in the same pocket. Two rolls to the seven, and the eight is right there. Well, he's been sitting a while, and he got off pretty good here. Yeah. Toasty. Yeah, very good run out, considering you lost seven in a row. Seven five is our score. Now he'd like to go on a little uh, four rack. He might, spree. but has he been watching how to make the head ball on the side? Because <laughs> Neil's made it a bunch. Seven five. We still have some great amount of pool to play in this match. And the rest of the day also. Seven ball on the wing. Oh, he almost made the one, but that doesn't count. 
Almost doesn't count, right, Mark? Dry break, no. Niels was out of his chair quite quickly. Delighted. Yeah, he's got a combination. No, after the one. And uh, Holman hit them hard. Got a lot of ball action, just nothing found the pocket. Good shot. Now here's a case. Well, you can't make both of them. It'll be tough. In fact, you got to double kiss this one to the pocket, I believe. Yeah, it's one of those awkward. Uh, the ball's right in the jaws of the pocket, but it still plays awkwardly. Right. He's going to double kiss it in. It will go in. Hit it full, you'll make it. It's easy to lose the two ball if you try to cut it in, though. Oh, he's not. He's not. Okay. Good shot. Even dropped in a little cleaner than I thought it would. You know, I kind of like to play this rail first and just come down, try to get on the inside, not not the side pocket side, not the rail side. Yeah, the path of his skew where it's near the five ball, but more towards the center of the table. But you're right. Don't go behind the five. Take the cut on the three, whatever you do, but don't gamble on snookering yourself. Right, right, right along that line that Niels is eyeing up there with his cue. Even if you take a little bit longer shot, you don't need perfect position here. You just need to have a shot. Rail first, perfect path. Yeah, beautiful. Well, no, excellent. That's what we're so used to seeing these elite players do. They just give themselves a shot. Wow, he gambled there. Ball goes in the side, it goes in the corner. He's looking for the side because that'll get him better position to the next ball. Pretty thin cut here. We expect him to get it though, it's not that severe. Wow, got the good angle. But the cue ball knows how to get on that cushion. Yeah, it is amazing how often it settles in. Natural path to the six. Good shot, and he's got an angle to do something good. I don't think you shoot it up the corner, the far corner. I think you want to go under it and shoot it in the same pocket as as this ball. Let's see if, what he thinks. No, he's shooting it up the corner. But he got good on it, a little off angle. He can't just hit it straight on. Just a little top spin, roll ahead, two diamonds is all. One diamond past the side pocket is all he needs. That allows the ball speed to give, make that corner pocket very big. Well, he went all the way down. So well, because had, of the angle, he was going at the nine. Yeah. He got pretty good here. Yeah. One of my favorite shots. Perfect speed. <laughs> Eight five is our score.
he's on the hill. And he's making that ball in the side. That's what he has to do one more time mm -hmm. to stay in the tournament. All right. He made it. Where are you two? Two's pretty near the cue ball. Well, he's got to cut it to the right. That'll get him position on the three. Yeah, I don't think he minds this shot. It's not, not maybe the easiest of shots, but it's certainly way better than what you can get. Yeah, he's confident enough to start looking at the five, and that's like two balls away. Disappointed that he knows he could have made it. I think he was trying to do too much with the cue ball there and just kind of shot that a little bit split minded. I thought he would make it because position went with it. Now he's got to sweat Bowman out. Well, is he going to wind up with the combination? The 5 6? Looks like it. Unless he, he could maybe just go ahead and chip it here and take a long four, but then you can get tangled up on those balls. You're right. I'm just going to cruise on around there. Five doesn't go by the seven, I don't think. Mm -mm. He's got to play the combination, I believe. Well, it's off angle by quite a bit. He can attack here. He can try to send the cue ball into the five. He could, as long as he stays on the high side of that, I don't know if we got time to get the overhead real quick, but if we do, he can go here and come here and back into it. He can also attack at it. No. Nope. The five goes in the side, then. I'm but, not sure of that. It's tricky, Mark. It's tricky. And no bargain here. Six ball's gonna go to the end rail, too, on this. Oh, good shot, but he missed it. I knew it was tricky. But he, he snuckered him by accident. But, you know, at this stage, you gotta be happy for Niels to be back to the table. Because anything is better than the guy making it, even if the ball stopped on the lights. You're at the table yet. If he made it, he would have been out. Right, right, and then who so knows? So you're happy about anything yeah. here. He was going to try to make something happen from nothing. Well, you hit it with good speed. This ball's going to be on the end rail. Not quite. So now Holman has a bank. So that wasn't a bad turn of events there for Niels. Didn't sell out a straight in offensive shot. Looks like. Tough shot. Oh, absolutely tough shot. Omen is 
set his mind to what the task is at hand. I think you got to shoot it. Don't want to lose with a phony safe. He's playing say No, he was playing the offensive shot, but that was odd. Well, Neil's got something to do here. No bargain here. I think you go forward two rails. I wouldn't draw it. Go forward two rails past the eight. You can shoot softer doing that. That's why he might want to wind up and, and shoot it with speed, but I like going forward. Oh, good shot. Mm -hmm. But he got a little thinner than he would like. Well, I think that's kind of like his dream result right there. From where he was at, he would be delighted to have this shot. All right, he's going to go two rails past the seven, try to get about where he is now. It's on the hill. He'd like to win this game. Good shot. Don't hit the eight. No, he didn't. Oh, very good shot. Game winner, match winner. Straight in the perfect position. Certainty now that Neil's fine will be moving on. And Niels is delighted to get past the very ever dangerous Torsten Homan. We want to thank everybody for tuning in with us. This has been High Quality Pool brought to you by AccuStats. Any rebroadcast or republication without AccuStats written consent is prohibited. Thank you for joining us and come back soon.